I would like to welcome you back to the 2015 school year. Thought we ended 2014 on a real strong note. Glad everybody made it back on one piece to Westside High School. Uh, hope you made a few New Year's resolutions. Uh, New Year's resolutions are those things that you want to change and, and kind of stick to in 2015. Hopefully some of those things are work hard in class, pay attention to the teachers, do everything that your parents ask you to do. Um, and, and hopefully everybody had a good Christmas and got some of the things that off Santa's list. Jacob, did you get anything for Christmas? I got lots of clothes. I guess it's when you know you're getting older and you get excited about getting clothes for Christmas. Getting clothes, getting clothes. Who bought you those clothes? We'll go with Santa. We'll say Santa. Okay. Before. This did you tell Santa thank you? I did, of course. Westside is so important. I know you got a lot of good things over the Christmas break. Please make sure you go home or send a note or write a note to Santa to tell him thank you for all that he did for you during the Christmas holidays. Would also like to quickly talk about um, our tests and our ELC testing and state testing that we have going on now. Students continue to work hard, been proud of the effort, and appreciate you coming to school and taking those tests seriously. We also had cram night um, in preparation for the test, and I'd like to thank the following teachers and staff members for coming to our cram night. That's Joy Fisher, Ms. Isengard, Ms. McIntosh, Ms. Burton, Ms. Barry Burns, Ms. Carter, Mr. Beaven, Ms. Bell, Coach Phillips, Mr. Tobin, Coach Haley. So again, thank you teachers for coming out, and I appreciate the students. It was a real cold night, but we had a lot of students and faculty come out to support Cram Night. I also like to quickly talk about the change in semester. Students will start making some announcements about some of our uh, things that we're changing this year as far as 2015. One of those is two earpieces. Please make sure you only have one earpiece in. And another thing that's very crucial are IDs. IDs have to be on your person. That means they have to be on the lanyard on your neck. They can't be in your back pocket, in your book bag. You can't leave them in your car or the gym. So students, please make sure you have those two things covered. Robert, so you're talking about Santa. What does Santa bring Westside? That's a good question. I'm telling you what Santa brought Westside High School. For all students in grades 9 through 12, Santa brought you a free Chromebook. Only thing, students, that you have to do for Santa to deliver your Chromebook to you. The ninth graders, we got y'all out of the way early. You got your Christmas gift early. 10 through 12, we get ready to roll out. It's very important that you bring back the form so we can give you a Chromebook. I think we have about 55% of our forms back, and we're looking for 80%. So all students that have not turned in your forms, we're making announcements, doing robocalls, talking with parents, please bring back your form. So Santa can give you your Christmas present, your very own Chromebook. Well, so now we'd like to talk about our Ram Pride winners. Jacob, you want to give us a list of winners this week? Noah this White, one. Josh Dowell, Taylor Campbell, Chase Al, Charles Bowman, and Samantha Roberts. A special note about Samantha Roberts. She's a senior here at Westside. I want you to know that we're still thinking about you and can't wait to get you back here at Westside. Um, and, and teachers, I appreciate you submitting Ram Pride winners. We had a, a number of winners the last couple of weeks. Students, your name will go on our marquee. Make sure you come see our secretaries to receive your prizes. And again, Jacob, is, is, I'm glad we're recognizing Samantha. Samantha, your, your students at Westside, your fellow classmates, we're hoping for a speedy recovery. Hope we get you back to Westside real soon. Welcome to the Corey Roberts Show. We're here with JB point guard Tiffany Rice. Tiffany plays JV and varsity for our Lady Rams. Our Lady Rams varsity team is doing pretty good this year. They've lost only a couple of games, but our JV team is undefeated. Tiffany, how do you feel about the undefeated season so far? It feels great, Mr. Roberts. Um, we've been working hard in practice, and I think we'll stay undefeated if we keep trying hard. Okay, just you kind of talked about it. What did you and your teammates have to do to keep the streak going and, and kind of stay undefeated? Because our JV team went undefeated last year as well. I think we could keep it up by working even harder in practice, keeping our attitudes up and positive, and just staying active. I think that's great. I know Coach Connie and Coach Kim and Coach Jack and Coach Sal a real pride of what we're doing with our JV program. Uh, good luck next year and good luck the rest of the way.
Okay, now we're here with two of our one of our with two of our young kids. Um, Lemmy Young plays on our JV basketball team, and Kobe Milton is on our freshman team. Um, our freshman team is undefeated, and our JV team only lost one game. Um, and we're here with Coach C, our ninth grade coach. Coach C, I know y'all are undefeated and been working real hard. Um, talk to us a little bit about the season and, and how the kids are progressing so far. Well, I think from uh, the start of the season to now, uh, we've come a long way, and we're just now approaching the halfway mark of our season. Um, I've got probably the best group of kids I've ever had in my coaching career uh, in seven years as far as just being coachable. Um, and just loving the game of basketball. Um, you know, I've, for Kobe Middleton, being a point guard on the floor is, is basically like having a coach on the floor. And then if these kids just continue to work hard, not only will we have success this year, but going forward in the future as the JV players and then eventually for our varsity. Greg, and, and I know both of these guys play football as well, so you had some interaction with them in football. And again, Lemon was on our varsity football team, but just with the JV team, I know you see them play as well. What do you see with them so far? I think with our JV team, we have probably the most athletic JV team I've ever seen. As far as just getting up and down the floor, I mean, it's basically a bunch of football guys out there playing basketball. Okay. So they're, 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 they're fun to watch. Uh, they play extremely hard. We, we love to press uh, from our C team, our JV and varsity uh, from start to finish. And it's just fun to see these kids with so much athleticism just get after it on the press and the defensive side of the floor and that's how they create a lot of offense uh, for themselves so um, they're exciting to watch just as much as our C team is. Great. Now uh, Westside you can come out this Thursday and watch our C team and both our JV teams play here at Westside. The game start around 515 and of course we'll go to Hound on Friday night for our varsity teams. So again come out and support your Rams. We need the six man in the stands. Go Rams. We're here with um, our own coach Scott Early, who's our football coach and our fishing coach as well. Coach, first want to start off by congratulating you for being the area coach of the year. Um, again, I know a lot of hard work, a lot of weekdays, weekends, went into being coach of the year. We have a very competitive area, a lot of good coaches. So talk to us quickly about. I know you don't like to toot your own horn, but talk to us quickly about how it felt to to be the area coach of the year in your first year. Well, it's definitely an honor, but I think the, the honor goes to our, our kids, our players, and our coaches. Uh, they're the reason we're successful, and I think sometimes the, when you win, the head coach gets way too much credit, and when you lose, they probably get way too much blame. So, <laughs> so it, it works good for me, and it's an honor, and I, I'm proud to represent uh, Westside High School and glad we could bring some positive attention on our school and our football program and our community. Right, and I know we just had the, the football banquet on this past Sunday. Um, it was tough for me and you to get there because our Cowboys lost on a very controversial call. Um, but talk to us a little bit about the, the banquet and uh, the great representation from our kids and families. How did you feel about that? Well, first of all, I'd like to address the call. You know, it was the worst call in the history of NFL football. I agree. I felt like Dez made a football move, and he, he actually it should have been ruled a touchdown because when the ball popped out, he recovered it in the end zone. So we, we, we took a tough loss there, and you know, to all you Green Bay Packer fans, especially you, Coach Turner, I hope y'all are satisfied, and we'll see you again next year. Yeah. Um, as far as the banquet goes, we had a tremendous turnout, uh, had over 230 people there. Wow. Um, all the kids were, were honored and, and recognized. Um, didn't, didn't do but one award because we feel like academics is the most important, so Tyler Fuller was the recipient of our only award for the highest GPA in the football program. Uh, but we had a great turnout. We was able to recognize everybody, eat fellowship together, uh, and also take a glimpse into the future uh, to look at the new facilities and the, and the exciting things that are on the horizon for Westside High School. That's wonderful. And, and I know you double as our fishing coach too, so I know you put a lot of work in with that. Talk to us briefly about the fishing team and, and what kids need to know and this community needs to know. Well, we, we've uh, narrowed the fishing team down to 16, we hope, quality anglers. Uh, and now we actually have eight captains in place. Uh, the, the shirts are ordered. Uh, we've been invited to work at the Bassmasters Classic, which is the largest tournament in the world here on Lake Hartwell uh, in February. And we are in the preliminary stages of scheduling our tournaments, uh, and we will begin to practice. I think now, you know, with the one thing that's hurt us a little bit is the weather. It's been so cold and rainy, uh, and we're trying to get our kids out there and practice as soon as we can. But the season will really kick into place around May the 1st. Um, but in the meantime, uh, we got a lot of things in place, ready to practice and ready to host our own tournament. We'll actually be hosting a tournament here 
um, in conjunction with BSN and Strickland Marine, where we'll have a coach's side and a public side. It'll be a, a large tournament on Lake Hartwell, and all the proceeds will go to Alexis Graham and her fight against acute leukemia. That's wonderful. Um, certainly appreciate everything you've done to revitalize our football program and our sports program in general. Um, one of the things I'm probably most proud of as the principal of Westside is the academic success that our football players have had um, as far as taking the academic serious. I know the things they do on the field, but one of the biggest things and the keys to our success is what they do in the classroom. So I appreciate that. Fishing team, looking forward to um, getting out there on the water and seeing you as well. You heard it here from Westside. Hey Westside, we're here with Mr. Tova for our joke of the day. So, Mr. Tova, have you heard any good jokes lately? Well, actually I've heard two. I hope I can say both. And the first one, if I ask you, why does a sea lion swim in salt water? Because if it swam in pepper water, it would sneeze. <laughs> okay. Well, what's your other one? Well, y'all know that it's been very, very cold the last week, so... Um, it was so cold out the other day that I saw a squirrel run into an electric fence. <laughs> All right, how about it was so cold out the other day that my grandfather's false teeth were chattering in the glass. Okay, I, I... Or it was so cold out the other day that Starbucks was selling coffee on a stick. <laughs> you heard it here, Wes. Uh, have a nice day.